Shall we begin? Hello everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, we're gonna see how to turn a picture into this kind of ink scratch portrait effect that you can see in here. To achieve this, we're gonna use two textures. This one and this one in here. You'll find a link to this texture down in the description below, so just download them. I also want to take a minute to say thank you for all of your positive feedback on my other tutorial. Alright, fantastic, so let's get to it. Alright, so open your Photoshop and go to File, New, and we're gonna create a new document with 2000 in the width and 3000 in the height and 300 in the resolution and in the color mode. RGB and press OK. Alright, now we're gonna uh, convert this to a smart object. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna choose convert to smart object. And I will double click to this layer in here and as you can see it will open in a new layer. Now we're gonna paste our picture that you want to uh, apply the effects on in here. So we go and choose this picture in here and I'm gonna just open it in here. And I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so I can focus on the face like this. All right. Oh, it's something like that. And I'm gonna press enter. Now we need to save it so we can find it in the layer that we just created. So I'm gonna press Ctrl S on my keyboard, or you know you can just go to File and choose Save in here. And now we can just close this, and as you can see, we'll find it in here as layer one. All right. Now, I will go back to my folder in here and I will grab this first texture that we're gonna use and I will open it in a new window and I'm gonna just take it and drag it and put it in here. I'm gonna press Ctrl T so I can make it bigger. All right, somewhere like that. All right, and I'm gonna press Enter. Let me just delete this in here. So I'm just gonna select it and delete it like this i'm gonna press ctrl d all right now i'm gonna create a new uh, layer as a background so we'll go and create a new layer and i'll put it down in here and i will call this pg for background and i will fill it in white so i'm gonna press alt backspace and i'm gonna uncheck this for now and i'm gonna press ctrl a so i can select the whole canvas or you can just go to select and choose all and now I'm gonna press Ctrl C so I can copy this and I will deselect it like that and I will make this uh, visible again and I'm gonna create a new layer mask to it and by pressing Alt and double click to this layer I can enter the layer mask now I'm just gonna press Ctrl V so I can paste my selection and I will press Ctrl D so, so I can deselect now can I make this a little bit darker so I'm gonna press Ctrl L on my keyboard and the level adjustment will pop up and I will make it a little bit darker so I'm gonna take this middle handle and put it into the right a little bit somewhere like this and this right, uh, left one and put it into in here not that much alright something like that and I'm gonna press OK now I'm gonna invert it so I'm gonna press Ctrl I and as you can see this will invert it and for this uh, line that we have on the top, I'm gonna take a brush and I will just delete this one with a black color like that, as you can see. Yes, very quickly. Alright, so it will blend with our layer mask. Alright. And now I'm just gonna click to this image in here and as you can see, we'll have uh, start to create our effects in here All right now I will go to filter and I'm gonna choose filter gallery and The artistic folder in here just open it and choose dry brush For this it depends on how big or small your picture But I'm using 4 in the brush size and 10 in the brush details and 2 in textures as you can see this will give it this uh, really cool brush uh, feel to the, the image and I will press OK all right and now I will duplicate this image by pressing Ctrl J on my keyboard 
I'm gonna put uh, the blending mode of, the, of this to uh, hard light. I'm gonna uh, make the fill into 25%. Alright, like this. As you can see, this will uh, give it more uh, color to it. Alright, now I will go back to my folder in here and I will take this segment texture that we're gonna use and I will just open it in a new window again and I will take it and drag it to the main window in here. I'm gonna press Ctrl T so I can resize it to fit uh, the canvas. I'm gonna press enter. Now I'm gonna change the blending mode of this to multiply. Now we're gonna uh, play with the, the adjustments of this. Let me just first delete this texture as we don't need it anymore. I'm gonna delete it. All right. Now I will apply a gradient map to this. So I will go and choose gradient map and I will reverse it and I will change the blending mode to overlay and I will make the fill between 30 to 40 percent so I'm gonna choose 35 for this all right now I will go back to adjustments again and this time I'm gonna choose vibrance and I will put the vibrance around 70 percent Now we'll go back to adjustments again and this time I'm gonna choose exposure and I'm gonna put the offset around 0 0.0100 and there you go as you can see this will give it this really cool effect all right now uh, the first thing that we're gonna do after we've done this we're gonna save it so I'm gonna go to file save as and you know we just give it whatever name we want we're gonna call it ink template And now we can use it as a template. So let me first just du duplicate this so we can use it as a clicking uh, file. So I will duplicate it and put it into the top and I will just delete this. And I'm gonna just make it invisible and I will just double click to it. And as you can see, it will open the same image that we saved in the first place. Now we can just drag whatever image you have and put it in here and resize it I'll make the face visible all right something like that and press enter now press ctrl s so you can save it all right now if i go back to my template i will find it in here save as the same effect as we just give it in the first image and there you go so i hope that you enjoyed and you like this tutorial and this was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more tutorials to come and have a nice day. Thank you for watching. Ciao.